Good morning and Happy New Year. Welcome to our service of morning prayer as we begin this month of January and this, this new year, which is full of hope. Um, we still have a lot to get through, but um, there is light. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And our service will shortly begin on page 79 with the confession, but first of all, our opening sentence for the, for the new year. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be yours as well. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. And now we'll turn to page 82 and say together the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him the Psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Readings of Psalms 85 and 87. Psalm 85 can be found on page 708 of the Book of Common Prayer. You have been gracious to your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortune of Jacob. You have forgotten the inquiry of your people and blotted out all their sins. You have withdrawn all your fury and turned yourself from your wrathful indignation. Restore us then, O God, our Savior. Let your anger depart from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you prolong your anger from age to age? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying for he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. Truly his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him 
and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Psalm 87 is found on page 711. On the holy mountain stands the city he has founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of our God. I count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me. Behold Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, in Zion were they born. Of Zion it shall be said, everyone was born in her, and the Most High himself shall sustain her. The Lord will record as he enrolls the peoples. These also were born there. The singers and the dancers will say, all my fresh springs are in you. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. By faith, Moses was hidden by his parents for three months after his birth, because they saw that the child was beautiful and they were not afraid of the king's edict. By faith, Moses, when he was grown up, refused to be called a son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to share ill treatment with the people of God than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. He considered abuse suffered for the Christ to be greater wealth than the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking ahead to the reward. By faith he left Egypt, unafraid of the king's anger, for he persevered as though he saw him who is invisible. And by faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood so that the destroyer of the firstborn would not touch the firstborn of Israel. By faith, the people passed through the Red Sea as if it were dry land. But when the Egyptians attempted to do so, they were drowned. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell after they had been encircled for seven days. By faith, Rahab the prostitute did not perish with those who were disobedient because she had received the spies in peace. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. We turn now to page 86 and we'll say together the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? 
whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. And in fact, will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let's turn now to page 93 and say together, Canticle 18, a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so, to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. And turning to page 96 now, we'll say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose years never fail, and whose mercies are new each returning day, let the radiance of your Spirit renew our lives 
warming our hearts and giving light to our minds, that we may pass the coming year in joyful obedience and firm faith through him who is the beginning and the end, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite you now to join me in our personal prayers, our prayers for one another, our prayers for our nation, for our world, for our church, for our fellow human beings, wherever they may be. Oh God, once again, we give you thanks for this new year and all the hope it brings us. And we pray that you would light in each of us a brand new spark, a brand new recognition that we are connected to you in body, mind, soul, and spirit, and that we are called by you to be your hands, your feet, your heart, and your voice in the world. And so I pray, give us wisdom, help us to continue to keep ourselves and others safe as gradually the vaccine becomes more and more available. Help us to flatten the curve of COVID-19, to make it possible for health professionals to get some rest and restoration. For those who've been afflicted to heal, for strength to return, for our world to come back to a new normal and for lives to be enriched. Let the knowledge of your presence grow as your kingdom grows in a healthier, kinder, more peaceful world. Let us not forget the lessons we've learned in this past year but use them to make this year better, this world better. In your name and to your glory. Amen. Amen. And now we'll say together the general thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.